it seems as if the separation and the fragmentation, though, has carried on to different planes. You know, like maybe if you think of it in a linear sense or within the metaphor that after we die, there's a sense of separation somewhere else, that maybe the dream is happier or something like that. You know, I'm trying to kind of put these near-death experience books that I've read into, into context. And so, you know, and then so these experiences are accorded reality. You know, after, you know, the experience that we have after the body has ceased to function, there may still be experiences of, of separation or, or, or whatever. Kind of like or what it's, it's still like the assumption is almost like still like there is an afterlife. Right. And what I'm getting from the course is like this isn't life. This mm -hmm. never was life. <laughs> that that there isn't anything that comes after this because this is this isn't. <laughs> you know, it's it's a weird but it's like the mind still wants to kind of say, you know, this is life and, and I wanna know what that's what my grandma always say, Well what happens when you die, you know? And it's kind of like the course is throwing it leaping it out of that perspective. Mm -hmm. But it seems as if, you know, from writings that we have and things like that, that there are experiences uh, that seem after death that are part of the overall fragmentation experience. And yeah. these are accorded reality and talked about as if, you know, this is what happens after you right. die. Perception, but it's, they're still right. perceptual. Yeah, it's all still part of the same mm -hmm. illusion. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. Astral plane and the causal plane. All and, kinds of know. different planes, you know, yeah. which one's a little better than the other and all right. that. I mean, it's all an illusion. I mean, getting away from the idea that there is a collective world out there, you know, outside my mind, or co even collective egos, mm -hmm. because then subtly it still offers another way to pawn it off a little bit. <laughs>